Good morning everyone. I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's Monday morning and I love starting weekly vlogs on Monday. It just feels like new week, new vlog. It's going to be an absolute scorcher here in the UK today. I think, I think it's going to get up to about 32 degrees later today. Also, I just can't not mention <laughs> how pale I am. We are in the height of summer and I'm so pale, but the truth of it is, is that I never really actually sit in the sun. Like I do do a little bit of sunbathing on holiday, but, but it would take quite a while for me to get a real tan. And I'm just really aware of sun damage on my skin. So at the moment, I'm just like loving sitting in the shade and wearing fake tan. So that is why I'm actually just looking so pale. I feel like Casper the Ghost right now, but also I kind of feel free without anything on. And I'm just gonna have a bit of a reset day today. And normally this is something I would do on a Sunday or over the weekend. But it just hasn't happened like that this week. So as I said, it's going to be so warm today. So I've actually already been out with Bertie early because it just gets too hot for the doggies and they just need to go out early. And so on warm days, I like to get him walked nice and early so it's not too hot for him. Um, and then he can just chill and not get too hot and bothered today. Um, so this morning I need to go and do the food shop. I've cleared out so many drawers and cupboards um, this last week. I've just had such a good sort out. I actually didn't vlog any of it because I just wanted to crack on with it. I didn't want to have to worry about filming it and it really wasn't that exciting. So I've got so much stuff to now take to the charity shop. So I need to pop out this morning. Whilst I'm out, I actually want to pop into Dunelm um, and the range, I think as well, because I've had a little reshuffle in the house. By the way, the only things I'm putting on my face this morning is, SPF and I've actually been using this Say Beauty. It's a like a tinted gel. It's so nice. It, it's like a little bit bronzy um, But it's just really glowy and just makes your skin look really nice um, I think that'd be such a nice one on holiday lip balm And then I'm just gonna pop a bit of brow gel on but today is just one of those days where my hair's really greasy That's just going up. It's just like a bit of a get shit done day today So I don't really actually care what I look like. So with all of the sorting out that I've been doing, I've been having a little bit of a rejig, reshuffle of bits and bobs around the house. You know I love to change up my shelves and just like mix things up. There's a few little bits and bobs that I would like to buy. So I'm gonna pop into Dunelm and the range while I'm out as well. Before I go out, I want to put the towels in the wash. So when I get back, they'll be finished and I can hang those out. this camera angle but my vlogging camera battery has died already i obviously didn't charge it this morning but food shop is done i also just met a lovely youtube viewer um in sainsbury's as well she was in there with her son so if that was you hello thank you for coming over it was so lovely um to meet you and chat to you so on to the next job i think i'm gonna go to the range and then don elm and then home the range have actually got so many nice photo frames for like prints or even just like little photos like these are really nice and they look like one pound at 79 i really like these ones as well these like oak looking ones and i've just seen these ones as well that they've got these are a really nice wooden option i'm in dunelm now and i wanted to get a few faux like stems for some of my big vases this is quite good actually this says it's, it's a budding maple branch um that could be quite good that's the kind of thing i wanted i might get that and try that in the vase but i feel like they've got loads of autumnal things in they've got all of the halloween stuff in and i'm just not quite ready for that i'm not ready to let go of some yet this is really pretty as well um but i feel like this could work this is quite like a nice one to work nice one that will work in all seasons <laughs> I love this cushion. I love the frilly edge. That's really nice. I did want to get some green striped cushions, but like a slightly darker green than that. I love that they sell just the covers because I have got so many pillow inserts that I just don't need any more of the inserts. I just need covers. Um, I don't think they've really got anything that I am looking for, to be honest. I love the frill on this, but it's not quite 
it's not quite the right colour, but that is, that's very cute. I like that. Do you know what I am a sucker for is a good kitchen gadget. Like, I don't know, just all the random kitchen stuff. But I just love it. Um, I really like the Joseph and Joseph stuff. Um, they seem like they're really good quality. I don't know if they've got any in here. But I bought one of their garlic presses. And oh my gosh, it just, it makes all the difference having good kitchen utensils. Um, no, I don't think they've got Joseph and Joseph. But I've just seen this. If you are a baker, I mean, I'm sure you've got one already. But these silicone spatulas are like the best thing ever because they just like scrape the bowl so well. I love these big pots. I think they're supposed to be like in the garden, um, but they're so nice, aren't they? I think you could definitely put those indoors and they're so reasonable. Like this m big pot is 15 pound. They've got all of the pumpkin candles out and it smells so strongly of like, like cinnamon, no not cinnamon, just like really sweet pumpkin. I don't need any more bowls because I feel like I've got so many bowls and trays. But how gorgeous is this marble like scalloped um, tray? That is so nice. That's really heavy. That's £35. That's lovely. And also this is so nice. Really nice. They always have such nice bits in here. More nice um like marble i think it's like more like travertine trays they're lovely they've got loads of cushions actually quite a lot of nice ones as well i do think home sense do nice cushions how unreal does this look it's a back rest i would love that you know i love i love relaxing on the sofa watching tv that looks so comfortable i also spotted this gorgeous green stripy tin i think it's just because i love this color of green like this is really nice but what am i gonna do with a big tin like this but it's so nice isn't it i am making such a mess here but i've just marinated some um chicken fill uh, fillets <laughs> chicken thigh fillets for dinner and i'm just making my juice now but i've changed it up um i found some turmeric in sainsbury's so i've done Ginger, turmeric, lemon, um, apple. I put the black pepper in there as well to um, activate the turmeric. And then I'm going to use coconut water instead of normal water because this has got more electrolytes in. I showed the recipe a couple of vlogs back um, that I did. It was more of a simpler recipe. That was really nice. But now I'm really into them and I'm really enjoying having a little daily fresh juice. So I will test this one out and report back. I've got in such a mess doing this, but look at my nails. No, I have not gone and got a little orange ombre because I squeezed the pulp through the muslin cloth. Look at my nails. Like how like what am i gonna do i'm gonna put some bleach on them i'm just gonna put yeah like a little bit of bleach and hope that this comes off that is awful maybe i won't be making these ones again i'm in my parents garden and it's such a gorgeous day today um and what i would like to do is they've got this big eucalyptus tree and this branch is like almost falling off so i'm going to cut it into like branches and stems and put it in a vase for my mum. We just had lunch. We had a salad with grilled peaches, prosciutto and burrata with loads of nice like, olive oil and like a very nice dressing. It was so good. Um, this weather is lovely. Yesterday was a bit too hot. I just feel like in the UK, or where I live anyway, we don't have a swimming pool. We're not that close to a beach or anything. So when it's so warm, it's not like you can enjoy it like you do on holiday. It's a bit different. But today it's like really nice and warm still, but it's just much more enjoyable and not like overbearing like it was yesterday. I am going to get working on these branches. There is fish in here. They are literally just here, but I feel like they might be scared of people because as soon as I've come over, they will swim away. The net is on the pond because they've had quite a few issues with a heron. Um, but the lilies have bloomed and they're so pretty.
morning everybody i've actually done my hair and makeup today it feels like i haven't done that for so long so i'm just trying to find somewhere to balance you um i've done my hair with the ghd rise i need to brush it out i've just been letting the curls um like set whilst i've been doing my makeup so we're not quite finished yet i'm going to an event this afternoon with victoria's secret at the grove which um, I love the Grove and I love when events are so close to me. I only live about 15, 20 minutes away from the Grove. So really easy for me to get so I can just drive there this afternoon. But as I was getting ready for the event, I thought that I would actually film some fashion content before because if you follow me over on Instagram, I haven't actually posted any... I've been posting... I guess I have been posting fashion content, but for me, it hasn't been new stuff. I've been having a little reset behind the scenes or just a little bit of like slower time. So I haven't really been shooting any new fashion content. I've just been using um, content that I've actually already got that I haven't shared yet. Um, so it would actually be quite nice to film some new bits today. Um, I've got some lovely summer dresses. I feel like 2024 has been the year for me coming into my summer dress era and i really and i specifically mean like midi or long dresses i love wearing shorts and trousers so that's where i've always sorry i'm trying to talk to you and do a coffee now the water tank needs water in it i've always i've always been such a shorts and trousers girl but actually this year I've been really loving some dresses. So I've got a few new ones because we are going on holiday in a couple of weeks. Tom and I are going to Mallorca. We both used to go to Mallorca with our families when we were younger, but we haven't been as adults. This is only, I think the flight's apart. Oh my God, what's happening? Look what's just happened. Why has my coffee just come out like that? I need to save these ice cubes because I haven't got loads of ice cubes. Oh no, one sec. I'm not sure what's going on here. Did my pod not go in properly? Maybe, oh, I think my pod hasn't gone in correctly. Let's try that again. It didn't pierce it, so let's try that again. So yeah, we are heading to Mallorca in a couple of weeks which I'm so, so looking forward to. And I've got a few new dresses uh, for the evening. So I thought we could have a little try on of those. Okay, we've got coffee now. Um, and I'm trying a caramel syrup. I do love a sweet coffee. A sweet iced coffee is like my favorite thing ever. Um, and I went to buy the vanilla one, but they didn't have it. So they only had caramel, but it's quite nice. I can never gauge how much syrup to put in. That's not that nice. Do you know what? I think it's like the longer coffee it melted all the ice cubes. I mean, it's okay. But it's not my best. As you would have seen in the vlog earlier in the week, we went to some home shops. So tomorrow, I'm going to show you all of the home bits and how I am styling them. Um, but while I'm getting ready, I just wanted to show you a new lip product that I've been using. And if you like a really nice glossy lip, not sticky and not gonna break the bank this is the max factor it's called 2000 calorie lip glaze i love that the big applicator like a nice chubby applicator and this is really really nice i'm so impressed with this also i never wear well not never but i rarely wear lip liner and i put lip liner on this morning and it makes my lips look so much more plumper and voluminous vol voluminous Voluminous. So I'm loving that lip gloss. This is in the shade 165 Silk Sheets. Okay, let's talk dresses. Actually, before we talk dresses, can we talk about the colour of my skin now? So earlier in the week, I was so pale, like ghostly pale. And fake tan always just makes me feel so much better. Having a tan, doesn't it just give you such a confidence boost? So yesterday I tanned and I had some of the Saint-Tropez, the Lux Serum to use up. I only had like a little bit left. So I thought, oh, I'm just going to use this up. And I haven't used it in a while and I forgot how good it was. Like my body is so brown. It looks like I have literally just come back off of a holiday. And it's such a nice brown as well. And it's gone on so evenly. 
I really am so happy with it. I'll leave the exact one that I use linked below. Right, let's talk dresses. First up is this gorgeous khaki dress. You're not gonna believe where this is from. This is from Sainsbury's 2, is their brand, TU. Um, and it's so nice. I love these, like, dresses with the little vest top and then the cotton skirt they're so easy to wear i'm always really conscious of my stomach in dresses but this just hangs really nicely it doesn't cling onto your tummy i feel like it's really nice and loose and in the summer i feel like this is exactly what i want to wear because it feels like nice and loose and light it doesn't feel heavy or anything and then i've just styled it up with some white accessories. I recently got a few new bags, including this one, from a brand called um, Olivia's Sales on Instagram. She's got such a good range of kind of designer inspired bags, but also some really nice jewelry, nice big shells for holiday. Um, it's really lovely stuff. And this bag is from there. It's really nice quality. So if you're looking for some new accessories, definitely check her out. And then these shoes are my June sandals that I've had for quite a few years now. I got these, do you remember? I got these, in the ASOS sale. I remember sharing on them on my stories and they've been the most purchased item that I've ever shared because I think these sandals originally were maybe like 70 pounds. Then they were literally down to like 20 pounds or something mental on ASOS and so many of you got them um, and I am still loving them to this day. So here is dress number one. Okay, on to dress number two. And I just wasn't expecting to love this one so much. I love the stripe on it so much. My two favorite colors. It just hangs really nicely. Again, as I was saying, don't like things on my tummy. This is a size 10 and I would say I am usually like a solid 10. Um, but this does feel like a bit loose around the top area, but I would never size down because then it's gonna be too tight around here. Love just the looseness of it. I think if it's slightly bigger, it just hangs nicer rather than clinging. So I'm actually happy that this is looser. There's no pockets, I was just checking for pockets. Also, I've just noticed it's a tiny bit see-through. I've got dark knickers on and you can see through there. So I need to wear a lighter knickers with those, but it's just a bit of a different shape for me. And I really, really like it. This one is from ASOS, it's their own brand. I've also paired it with some tan accessories. These are my Hermes sandals and they were obviously an expensive purchase, but I am so glad that I bought them because I've just really got so much wear from them already. And for years to come, I'll just wear these all the time. They just seem to go with everything. And then I've got this stunning little bag. This is from Pollen. It's one of my favorite bag brands. Um, they just do the most beautiful, like handcrafted bags. This is all handmade. It's so, so stunning. So yeah, absolutely love this one. I think this one will definitely be a keeper. All of my jewelry is from Monica Vinader and I've still got the 20% off discount code off of everything. So I'll leave all of my favorite pieces below. You have already seen this one, but I wanted to include this in my little summer dress um, kind of try on, I guess, because I wanted to show you in a bit more detail. So you saw this in last week's vlog when we went to Wilderness Festival and I'm just not over this dress. Like it's so perfect. It's so soft and comfortable and I feel like you could wear it anywhere. The sleeves actually do come down. I was actually wearing it like this last weekend. I, I love off the shoulder. I absolutely love it. The material is like a cheese cloth is that the right word? Really, really soft. And it's got this gorgeous little floral print on it. And it's really just so pretty. I love this sheared bust. I'm not wearing a bra and I feel like where it's, like it's a bit tighter, it kind of like holds everything in place. And then it's just got this lovely bottom on as well. I can't wait to wear this one on holiday. I feel like you could wear this in the day and in the evening. So, so beautiful. This one's from a, a small brand again in the UK called Spirit and Grace. I'm wearing a size small and I feel like this dress just goes so perfectly with a basket bag. So that is how I'm styling it today. So did you watch the vlog where I was trying on dresses for the ballet and I had that gorgeous yellow dress? Well, I returned it and since regretted because it sold out. Um, but then I found this 
and it's like a cotton linen fabric which i thought would be so perfect for holiday like it makes me feel so feminine and it just it it makes me feel so nice this was from river island and i think it was about 60 pounds but honestly, I've been looking online for holiday dresses and the price of some dresses are so expensive. And I feel like this could be like a 250 pound dress, but it's not, it was 60 pound. It's a really gorgeous soft lemon shade. And I love this little belt detail on it as well, which is adjustable. Um, it's a really nice length. I'm five foot four, I'm wearing a size 10, I am a size 10 and I think that this, it fits really nicely. I'm so glad I did a tan because I don't think yellow would be flattering on me without a tan. Um, so yeah, I feel like it needs a tan. I've got this gorgeous little pearl clutch bag. How stunning is that? That's from Mango. So nice, isn't it? And then also actually these shoes are from Mango as well. I've had these for a little while. On holiday, I am not wearing heels. So I'll just wear this probably with some, um, just like my little white flat June sandals. So yeah, no heels on holiday, but I just thought the heels looked quite nice with it just to show you um, today. If you've got any like summer weddings coming up or anything like that, I feel like this could be so nice as well. Okay, next up is a gorgeous white dress. This feels a little bit more dressier than the other one. So this, yeah, I feel like has more of like a an evening feel to it. It's got a halter neck neck and I just love the neckline. It's so lovely. And then this big skirt. We're seeing lots of these fuller skirts and I really, really love it. Gone with gold bag and gold shoes. I love white and gold so much. And again, as I said, with the um, yellow dress for me, this would just wash me out if I didn't have a tan. I don't know if I'll take this one on holiday because the material is quite thick. It's more of a weighty dress, which is so gorgeous. Like it feels really premium. But I just feel like I could get a bit too sweaty in this on holiday, but this will be really nice for or any like evening events um, or any dressier occasions that I have. Okay, for my final dress, I've actually got one of my favorites. It's this gorgeous black strapless dress and it's a similar style to a lot of the dresses that I have shown you today. It's got this big full skirt and then on top just a very simple bandeau. The only problem that I'm having is it's quite big and it just keeps like slipping down. I don't know whether to change it I feel like I might try the next size down, but I just don't want it to lose. Like I love how big the skirt is and I don't want to lose that. I just don't know if then the size down will be too small and I can't remember what size this is. I'll leave all of the um, details of this one below. And then accessories, shoes wise, I've just gone for these little mango sandals that I've had for a couple of years. I feel like with sandals like this, just having them in uh, white, black, tan, and then I would love actually to have like a goldy pair. They just see me through so many outfits. And when you pack them for holiday, they don't take up much space and then they just go with everything. So I've just tied in the black with my black Loewe bag. I've still got my pearl necklace and other gold jewelry on. And I really, really love this one. I feel like this is such a chic summer look. I did my makeup this morning and then I just properly looked in the mirror and I just realized I have not done anything with my eyebrows. I can't believe I've just literally done all of that without doing anything to these brows. And I hope that in the videos I didn't really notice because, oh God, they looked awful. <laughs> Friday morning and it's a gorgeous sunny day. I'm just loving these sunny days. My mind loves bright, gorgeous mornings. It just makes me feel so much better. And earlier in the week, I showed you this that I was using. It's the bronzy um, gel from, I really need to know how to pronounce this. I don't know if it's Say or Sai, but I've been wearing it all week and I wanted to really like give it a good go before properly recommending it. And oh my God, I am loving it. When I've been out and about this week, someone actually come up to me and asked, and someone at the till asked as well, like what I had on my face because it looked so glowy. And I was like, oh my gosh. So I've been recommending this all week. They've got it in, um, so this is the bronzy one. They've got it in like a rose gold and then more of a 
not silver like a champagne one but you know me i love like a bronzy glow so this is the bronzed one you could mix it with your moisturizer you could mix it with your foundation you could wear it on its own like i've been doing you could put your foundation over the top i love a little multi-use product anyway this morning i wanted to show you the little bits and bobs that i got earlier in the week when we was doing a little bit of house shopping and i've also ordered some new prints for frames as well so i thought we could put those in so as i said i've got some new prints which have arrived this is how i usually do the prints all around my house is you can buy basically the download file on etsy so you just buy like a digital file and then you have got the artwork and then you print them yourself so i've got this one which i really love for the kitchen so up there we have got a big shelf and I've had that William Morris print up there for quite a while. And actually, the spot where it is, is it gets quite a lot of sun up there. So that's actually faded quite a lot. Um, and I just want to re a few bits and bobs. So I just thought that was really nice. And I really like these lemons at the bottom as well. What other ones did I get? I got that in, this, in a smaller and a larger. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I can't remember now what size I ordered for what. Um, and I had a smaller one of this printed. I got this one as well. This is one of my favourite ones. Um, it's just some white laundry hanging outside in the sunshine. Um, and that I'm going to pop in the utility room. I thought that the laundry like tied in really nicely with the utility. And you know that like washing hanging outside makes me so happy. So I love that. My little haul I've got is so random. I've got like a little bit of everything. I bought this throw in HomeSense. Um, I actually wanted it either for our bed to throw along like the bottom or on the sofa. The print is really nice. I love that colour and the print. We've got a super king size bed and it's so hard to find a throw long enough. So this basically just like touches the edge of the mattress and ideally I'd like it to hang down. So I just don't think this is big enough for our bed. And then I got some artificial stems as well just to pop in some of my vases. This I feel like is my favorite thing that I've bought. It was from the range and it was $1.99. This is the best two pounds I have ever spent. There's these little like faux, I think these are Cosmos. The reason I love this is because the like the branches and in here were slightly like warmer, goldeny, browny tones. So I thought that this would be really nice as well coming into autumn like it just gives me a little bit of autumnal feeling so that that is going to go in a vase in our bedroom i think uh this one was also from the range just this leaf stem with artificial flowers and stems and stuff it's really so hard to like tell if it's going to be good until you put it in the vase so i'm thinking that could sit nicely in a vase that was two pound 49 this is called leaves spray if you want to try and find it in the range and this one is sky cosmos spray there and then i got another branch but this is much bigger and the what do you call it like the stem on this is so long look at that so when i was playing around with vases i really had to fold it up you either need like a giant vase or just move this but this one was eight pound from dunelm and this one is budding maple branch i actually think that i have bought this and then returned it or something because i yeah i i really really feel like i have had this before and again with this one as well with the darker branches i felt like it had a bit more of like an autumnal feel i didn't want to buy things that felt super like springy summery vibes as we're going into autumn quite soon so i thought that one was really nice and then so randomly but i was in tesco just gonna have a little look down the home aisle and i got this candle i didn't really buy it for the candle because i have got lots of nice candles but i more bought it for the little stand and um, because things like this are so good for when you're styling shelves and i thought the colors on it as well was really really nice how lovely is that and then once the candle is used it up this one's really nice actually once the candle's used up it'll make such a nice just like little holder you could like pop some bits in there these aren't home decor pieces but 
I was in M&S the other day and I walked down the laundry aisle and saw these and I've seen people talking about how nice these smell and how nice they are and they smell amazing and I'm actually just obsessed with the ribbed bottles and I just get so excited by new laundry products. Doing the laundry is one of my favorite chores. I know that's quite controversial, but I actually really enjoy doing it. So when I get to buy nice things like this, it really excites me and that smells so nice. I've also received something very, very special recently. So ah, I received the YouTube 100,000 subscriber play button which is so exciting and like I really just wanted to take this opportunity to say like the honestly the biggest thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching my vlogs and just being so lovely I feel so grateful that I have a really kind, supportive and lovely community on here and I really just, uh, wow that's so bright, the, the sun's reflecting off of the mirror and I feel so so grateful for that and I never ever take this job for granted, I feel incredibly lucky to do this. Without getting too gushy or me start crying, I just feel, yeah, incredibly, incredibly lucky and I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. Just what baffles my mind is my vlogs say a half an hour, you're taking half an hour out of your busy schedules to watch my videos. Like what? And my videos, I think, aren't really that exciting. Like we're just plodding along at home. We're doing washing. I'm showing you laundry detergents. We're just hanging out at home together. And I actually love that. I just love having these chats. I really wanted to put all of these bits and bobs out now and sort the frames out and put everything out. But I'm running late and I actually need to go. Oh, I needed to leave at 12 and it is 11.57. So I'm gonna need to leave, but it's Saturday morning tomorrow. I've just got the day at home, so we can do all of that then. And also the house needs a bit of a tidy before I start showing you all the nice things. So we'll catch up on that tomorrow. shelf in the kitchen I've put the new print and I love it I think it looks so nice up there when we moved into this house I think that they had a big clock up there um but they obviously took that with them I think we remember seeing that when we came to view the house and it just felt like a big empty space because our kitchen like the ceilings this was an extension so the ceilings in this side really high um so yeah this just felt like a big empty space so we put a scaffolding board up we did this uh when we did the kitchen so that was on my 30th birthday we did that so three years ago um and then yeah we put the shelf up and then that big print is the 70 by 50 decennio frame if you're just wondering on sizes <laughs> just had a little tidy up in the living room. This is the new throw that I got from HomeSense. I love the pattern on it so much. You could turn it over the other side as well and it is slightly lighter, um, but that is really so pretty and I love adding in a little different print alongside the stripes there as well. Um, these cushions, these big stripy ones, these are from my very edit. Um, these are just the H&M, I think they're called something like premium linen cushion covers. I'll try and link them below. 
These are from a small brand called Fox and Bow. These rectangular ones are from Dusk and then they're all the same, just like duplicated on that side. And then I've actually just bought the Gypsophilia in here just to have a little play around with because I thought it looked so nice on the buffet in this tray. This tray is, I'm pretty sure this is the White Company. I've got some of the little cereal city guides and I've got this lovely lemon and lavender candle on this morning. It's from a small company called Homebird. Um, it's from a girl that I know has actually made them and she's based in Buckinghamshire. So the living room will stay like this for approximately half a day um, until the evening comes and then everything gets turned into a mess again. But while it's looking nice and tidy, I really like it and I wanted to document it. And then upstairs on our bedroom shelves, I've put the um, faux Cosmos, 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 how are we saying that? Um, in this vase, which I love, I think it looks so nice. I stuffed some paper in there as well so it wasn't moving around so much and I could hold it in the position that I wanted to. But as I said yesterday, this is the best two pounds I have ever spent. This vase, by the way, was from Primer a few years ago and I painted it because the color wasn't quite right. In here, I've only added the little faux flowers in there and changed the print above. But I think just making small little changes really freshens something up. A quick little run through where everything is from. This top shell is from Firm Living. F-E-R-M living. This pot is from H&M Home and the faux foliage is from a shop in St Albans actually called Zoo, How Zoo Horse or Zoo House. This lovely little pot I got from, oh what's it called? It's in Marlow. It's like the um, antique shop. I have to put it on the screen. My mind's gone blank. I can't remember what it's called. This little photo frame, I think that's from HomeSense. And then these candle holders are from H&M Home as well. And then on the bottom, I've just got a sleepy neon candle, a book, and a really nice, refreshing reed diffuser from the White Company. This is Vetiver and Citroen. It's so nice. Every time I walk past, I get such a nice smell of that. Ooh. 